Wagner mercenary troops occupied the southern Russian city of Rostov-on-Don on Saturday for about 12 hours, encountering little resistance as they seized the local military headquarters. Now, after an agreement with the Kremlin, they will return to their bases in the territory that Russia occupies in Ukraine with promises of no retribution. The group's leader, Yevgeny Prigozhin, is going into exile in Belarus under the auspices of President Alexander Lukashenko, a Putin ally. The Wagner mutiny threatened the Russian capital and prompted harsh words from Putin against its perpetrators in an address to the nation. What we're facing is exactly internal betrayal. Extraordinary ambitions and personal interests led to treason. Treason of their own country and people and of the case that fighters of Wagner were dying for alongside our soldiers. Russian officials have flooded the media with assurances that Putin emerged stronger from this short crisis. But international observers say on the contrary, the Russian leader's weaknesses have been irreversibly exposed. This destroys the myth that Putin had cultivated so hard of being completely in control and having a firm grip on power throughout the country. That is plainly no longer the case. And the Prigozhin incident sets an extremely dangerous precedent for power in Russia. Once other people see that this can be done and it can be survived, there will be other challenges. Now the Russian authorities are working to cover up the tracks of the Wagner Group, which until last week was praised by Kremlin propaganda. Prigozhin has challenged Moscow's narrative. Speaking of the precarious situation of the Russian army in Ukraine, one of the reasons why, Prigozhin says, he launched the mutiny. We have daily losses of up to 1,000 people. This includes those killed, those missing and those injured, and those who are refusing, who don't want to fight, not because they are cowards, but because they have no choice, no weapons supplies, no command structure. Observers believe that whatever deal Putin has made with Prigozhin, a dark future awaits the mercenary leader. Whatever happens for the rest of his life, he'll be a man looking, after his, looking over his shoulder because he will now be a marked man. He has challenged power in Russia and so far survived. The question is, for how long? Calm has returned, at least for the moment, to the streets in Russia. But after the acute crisis last weekend, Analysts say the events of the last few days may be a precursor to something bigger. For the VOA Moscow Bureau, Jonathan Spear, VOA News.